In this video, I'm gonna talk about the 20 things you need to know before moving to the Denver Metro. What's up everybody, I'm Sean Murphy, team leader of the Moxie Denver Group right here in Denver, Colorado. And if you want to know everything you need to know about moving to the Denver Metro and the Foothills area, this is your channel. So go ahead, uh, hit the bell, subscribe, so you are notified each time that we put up a video. This isn't only my opinion. I reached out to my social media network and asked my friends like, guys, what do people need to know? We have a list of at least 20 things that you should know. Number 20, let's just start off with the altitude. Air is a little bit thinner. We can hit golf balls and baseballs a little bit further. But with that, sometimes people need to get acclimated uh, to that. So before people will go up in those skis, sometimes uh, they will stay in the Denver Metro before they head up the hill just to give their body a little bit of time to adapt to that. You're gonna usually get winded a little bit faster and you go into oxygen debt. It's called the Mile High City for a reason. Number 19, breweries. We have a ton of them. Everyone's concocting their own specialty brew. A lot of them are made in the city. And then we also have the big distributors like Budweiser and Coors right in the area. So this is definitely a beer city. And a thing to keep in mind with that, along with the altitude, the higher elevation, if you're not from here, you will get drunk sooner. So be careful when you first get here. But then if you spend some time here, you go back home to your friends, you drink and you look like you're a champion or an alcoholic. Mm. Number 18, this right here. When I was in Youngstown, Ohio, I never ever used chapstick. But here is an arid, high plain desert climate. And for some reason, I don't know if I've gotten addicted, but I have chapstick everywhere. And if I don't have any, it turns into a little, little bit of an emergency. So have chapstick. Number 17, window tinting. <laughs> window tinting because one of the beautiful things about living in Denver, Colorado is that we get sunshine all the time. We get more sunshine than Maui. If you're driving and the sun is beating on you and you're stuck on I-25 in traffic, you're gonna get a sunburn just by sitting in traffic. So window tinting is super valuable in such a beautiful sunny state. Number 16, traffic. Traffic? Traffic kind of sucks sometimes. You're on I-25 and it's the middle of the day and, and traffic is going 20 miles per hour and you want to lose your mind. So uh, be aware of that. This optimal time might take you 20 minutes uh, if it, it's you know clear roads, but if you're going during some of the peak times, that 20 minute drive could turn into 40. So for me, time in the car is time at work. And so if you think the same way, uh, account for that, uh, depending on your work schedule and commute times. Number 15 must love dogs yes colorado we freaking love our canine companions we showed a lot we dress them up we take them everywhere with us you'll see them on the back of bikes you'll see them in backpacks on hikes yeah that's right we love our dogs we like dogs so much that they ship them in from other states uh, just to uh, satisfy the the dog need that we have in the area. Number 14, trails. One of the best things about Denver, Colorado is the outdoor scene. We are so close to the mountains and with that there are all kinds of hiking trails to explore. I highly recommend when you move to Colorado that you get the All Trails app. They're not even paying me to do this. I absolutely love it. It lets me know the distance, the difficulty, and when I'm out on the trail, it really helps me stay where I need to be on the trail and I don't get lost. All Trails app. Number 13, music venues. We have a lot of them. The most famous is definitely Red Rocks. And if you haven't heard of Red Rocks, check it out. You have to see, you can go there in the day. People do workouts there. People do yoga on the weekends up at the amphitheater, but to see a show at Red Rocks, 
it's a different experience altogether. Beyond Red Rocks, we have venues all over the city for all levels of musicians, ones that are really well known and those that are creeping on the come up. And so you can always find a show to go check out. Number 12, Weed Man. Marijuana is legal in Colorado, recreational and medicinal use. And so you are, if you like it or don't, you're gonna bump into it. You're gonna see it because there are, I think there are more dispensaries than Starbucks at this point. You know, sometimes you'll be walking around, you catch some skunk smell, and it might not be the person next to you, but it might be the huge warehouse that you're walking by that is actually a giant grow house. Number 11, Denver, we have super low humidity, so you always need to be packing in the water. Even if you don't, don't see yourself sweating, it's evaporating off your skin. You'll see just salt granules. If you're doing a hard hike, you won't be sweating a lot because it's evaporating so quickly. So next to my nightstand is a glass every night, way bigger than this. And because I oftentimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night, thirsty as hell. So first thing, here's my hint, pro tip. In the morning, big mason glass, about 32 ounces, a little lemon in there too, and that's how you start your day. You just house it in the morning and you will be surprised of how fast that 32 ounces goes into your body and your body's just like, that's exactly what I needed right now. And so hydrate. Number 10, it actually doesn't snow that much here. I know, everyone thinks Denver, Colorado, just snow all the time. And down here in the Front Range in the Denver Metro, we actually don't get that much. The foothills, evergreen, the mountains, that's what makes them great, right? Skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, all of the winter sports are available to you. But in the Front Range, normally if we get a bunch of snow, since we get so much sunshine, it'll typically melt it by midday. You ain't got no problems. Number nine, green chili. I never had green chili before I moved to Colorado and it is hands down my favorite taco topping, burrito topping. Put it on everything. Green chilies are awesome. You'll see on the side of the roads during the season, you'll see them just with a big tumbler with fire and they just roasting these chilies. Mm, I'm getting hungry thinking about it right now. Number eight, sports teams. This is a sports team town. One, there aren't that many sports cities right around us. We get the Broncos, we have the Avalanche, our soccer team, the Rapids is amazing. And then we have the Rockies and they're all right here. It is a great time to, to hit a brewery, then go hit a game and you're right there in the city. You don't have a long commute back home. Number seven, commuting around the Denver metro area is a lot easier than a lot of other cities. One, it's pretty much all flat and the, the front range is what we call it. When they set up the city, they put it on a grid system. And so you have numbers go north and south, names going east to west, and typically the names going east to west, they are in somewhat of alphabetical order. And so I know if I'm on Tennyson down south and somebody's on Tennyson, up on 32nd Avenue, well, I know it's just directly north of where I'm at. And so if I feel like I'm way off, just head in that direction. Number six, Rocky Mountain Oysters. The delicacy of the Rocky Mountains. I've had them once. I probably won't have them again because they are bull testicles that have been sliced up and then deep fried. They're actually not that bad, but when I think about what they are, I'm good, I tried it, I'm good. If you're feeling adventurous, you should try them. They are not oysters. Number five, swamp coolers. The hell is a swamp cooler? A swamp cooler is air conditioning for arid climates like what we have here in Colorado, and I freaking love my swamp cooler. It kind of looks like a refrigerator that's on top of my house, um, but I love it way more than an central air conditioning for a couple of reasons. It runs more efficiently. It actually just use, uses a fan that pulls water in off of these soaking pads around the box, and then it pushes that cool 
moist air. I don't say it's too moist, but it's got some moisture in it, right? Better than just the, the normal dry house that I live in all the time. So it puts a little bit of moisture in the air. And with that, for it to be optimal, you leave the windows open a little bit. So I'm still getting fresh air into the house. Love swamp coolers. Number four, property taxes. So compared to the rest of the country, Colorado has some of the lowest property tax rates in the country, even though our home prices are, are, are a little bit higher, but compared to like New York where the property prices are high and the property taxes are high, it's nice. Number three, we have to be very careful about not starting fires in the mountains. Sometimes there will be a campfire ban, which kind of makes camping a lot less fun. Still beautiful, but I like my s'mores and I like a campfire uh, and no fireworks. We don't want to burn down our neighbor's houses. Uh, be aware of that. You always need to stay up to date on what's allowed with the park services. Number two, our city mascots. We have a couple statues that you'll see around. We have the demonic Bronco by the airport. We have the voyeuristic bear peeking into the convention center. We have cows all over the city that are painted. I'm not quite sure if the story behind that, but there are cows. And then we have the dancing aliens by the Performing Arts Center. So those are our mascots. And when you see them, pay your respects. And the number one thing to know about moving to Colorado is that there are a lot of levels of, of Colorado living, mountain living. If you wanna live in the city, if you wanna live in the suburbs of the city, the southeast side of Colorado, of the Denver Metro is a lot different than the northeast and the northwest. As soon as you get into the mountains, everything changes completely. And that's where things like access, slope, who's maintaining the road, are you on well, are you on septic? Don't forget to hit that bell and hit subscribe so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And if you are moving to the Denver Metro area, we would love to help you out find the perfect neighborhood. Uh, we understand what it's like to not be from here and how you need an ally to help you find which neighborhood meets your 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 personality, your lifestyle, uh, your budget. So give us a call, shoot us a message. We got your back and we'd love to help you out.